Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel, JB Tech. Today I'm talking about collaborative office solutions. So it's about collaborating, smarter conferencing. So it's estimated, and you've, if you're in business, you've probably been there yourself many a time, that a meeting startup takes on average 15 minutes. There's 15 minutes of wasted time because we have really good technology, but because it's complicated and hard to use, the general salespeople or people in an organisation actually fail to use it or use it to the full potential. So what I'm talking about today is something called Intel Unite. Now you might be thinking, what's it got to do with Dell? So we've got a partnership with Intel and we supply one of our micro form factor PCs, the 7040 small form factor PC over here, preloaded with the Dell Unite management hub software. Okay, so Intel Unite is a fast, secure way of collaborating. And there's a standalone product, which is a single network, single office area, incorporating a, maybe a conference room. And we do the enterprise version, where you install some extra software on a virtual machine, on a server, which controls the traffic. And that machine allows you then to have multiple networks accessing multiple different offices, rooms with this technology, with this uh, smart conferencing. So imagine this room, which is our dining room with these chairs and these machines. Imagine this is a boardroom or a meeting room and that 25 inch monitor at the end is a big 50 inch monitor on the wall. Apologies, you have to use a bit of a imagination on this. So when you first power on the micro PC, it logs straight in. It is Windows underneath, so you can do control, delete and log out of this and use it as a PC in the meeting room as well. However, when it net natively boots, it boots up with this screen. Okay, so let me pan in closer. Not that much. So on here, it tells you how to join a meeting. This is simple to use, simple to set up. So first in the room, there is a meeting code generated. This is a rolling code. So people can't listen in on, you know, collaborate when they shouldn't be. And it tells you what to do. Connect your piece to the Unite Wi-Fi network. On the Wi-Fi network, on your machine, put in Intel Unite. The laptop, the 7240, asked when joining the Unite network for a password for the network. However, the 7140 and the 5175 tablets did not. They're still connected, but they didn't ask for that. Gives you a location of where to go to, so you download a client on your machines that need to collect, connect. What you can do is obviously if you roll out updates and packages and, and image on machines, you can roll that into the into the updates. You can download it from Dell's website or the Intel website. I prefer to download it from Dell. I don't know if there's any difference in drivers or tweaks, but that's where I get it from anyway. And what happens is, so you're in the meeting room, you simply open up the app, the Unite app, which I'll, uh, I'll show you. So all you do is, there's a lot of glare on the screen, Just move it into the middle so you <clears throat> that's what you get and then all you do is once you've logged in so I've just put the passcode in I'll show you it from scratch actually so double click on the icon it comes up here now even though it does connect to the network it does almost like a double connect so it still connects you to your standard network as you can just see in the corner but it also connects you to the Unite as well. So you still get Flexa. So all you do when you've got this screen is simply either touching the screen or with your keypad, type in the code in the top corner. So the code that's appeared there is 937104. 937104. That's about actually you type it. 937104. Okay, and then it just says connect and see Unite. Then the option it gives you is, there you go, it's not too clear, is to present screen or present applications. So all this, this guy's going to do, he's sat over there, we'll call him Dave, is he's going to present his screen. So as soon as you click present screen, it's shared up there. Okay, so a bit like what a Microsoft Wireless Adapter would do really. However, the difference here is now up to four people simultaneously sharing their screen. Just present more so these are all loaded up. I've done the passwords already. Present screen. So there we go. So you can have up to four people collaborating, sharing information. These people can be in this room, or they could be in the next room. They could be, you know, when you talk about office, it could be outside of this, this boardroom, and they can still come in and they can still present. And um, you've also got the ability, which you can see on the screen, 
I'll show you to take over so you can take control and you can the main one presenting. So this is a very easy collaborative tool for quick meeting startups and for also being able to share content on the screen. I'll go a bit more into what you can do and I'll run through a few scenarios. And the great thing is as well as APIs, there's plugins. So there's a plugin for um, Skype for Business. So you can bring Skype for Business into this. You can use a video conferencing elements of that. Um, guest net, net, guest access has been added. So you've got a guest coming in on the, on the, um, onto your wireless. They're in there. The customer may want to see a presentation. You can also have them come into this. Okay. And then further down the line, there's going to be things like video conference natively built into this. Things like um, Cisco to Felony tied in, even smarter buildings, so controlling your lighting, controlling the room, the, the shutters, the blinds, all this automation and APIs is, is being introduced by Intel free of cost. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run you through a couple of scenarios. The person sat here is called Claire. The person here is Johnny, and we've got Dave there. Okay, so what we're going to do is Claire is going to show the presentation she's put together. So the scenario is big important meeting, they want to collaborate, make sure the presentation's right, and they're going to bring a customer in and they're going to present to him. So this is just a bit of a role play scenario. So what I'm going to do now on here, Claire is going to <coughs> present the screen. Okay. So that now our screen's fully presented, you know, they've presented up and the guys can see. So Claire's now gonna obviously take the guys through the slider, but Claire actually decides, hang on a minute, um, I've got stuff in the background, you know, open to open from lunch, I don't really want them them to uh, to see all that, so I'm actually going to just stop presenting and I'm going to actually just present my application. So now, she's going to pick the PowerPoint presentation. So what happens now is, no matter what happens on this screen, if I minimise which I've just done, bring it back up again, you only ever see the presentation. Okay, so, example of how you can use it flexible. So now she's going to run through the presentation, through the guys, and talk about how how great it is and how how many hours have been spent at putting this all together. Blah blah blah. Okay, now we got to uh, blah blah blah. Talk about this. And Dave Smith says, "Oh, hang on a second. We need the new latest um, desktop in there. You haven't got that. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. So what what what's the new desktop? You know, talk me through. What is it? So." Good old Dave goes, oh well, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just show you. So he's going to present his screen. And then, so basically this image, this new PC needs to go inside the presentation. Okay, so Claire goes, oh, okay, brilliant, thanks a lot. So Dave is just going to share the file. Drag, simple drag and drop. So drag and drop into there. So the image is attached, make sure it's closed down. And then, right, well, both people don't need it. It doesn't need to go over to Johnny, um, which needs to go over to Claire. So I'm going to send it over to Claire. Right, so now that the files have been dropped and sent over, what I can do is go back. So I need no, no need to uh, be presenting anymore. So it goes back to the full presentation. So back to Claire, named at the top as being the lead. And what Claire's going to do is going to go, oh, okay, brilliant, right. So. She just basically, you can't see what's happening on the screen now. So the presentation has been minimised, you don't see anything outside of that. So <clears throat> I will actually flick it over so you can actually uh, see what I'm doing. So I present the screen now. So I've just flicked from just purely sending the, showing the presentation to the screen as well. So you can see share files here. So it's sent it over three times, so I was a bit, little bit too uh, excited. So just download it. Brilliant, done. And then I can just go to my receive files and see, way I've got that image now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is bring that image into my presentation. So I'm going to copy it. Go to the presentation. Click here. Fantastic. So we need that, that machine. The new machine needs to go in there. Brilliant. Got the content. The marketing guy sent it over. It's all perfect. Fantastic. Right. So we've run through the presentation, we've added that in. I'll remove it out after I'll just save it. Because uh, it's in the old file format. So just save that presentation. Brilliant, right, so we're all happy with it. So Dave and Claire collaborated and sorted that bit out. So you can be a bit more creative with your collaboration. Okay, so now it's Johnny's turn. Johnny's in the room. 
So Johnny's, okay, right, well, I want to do the presentation. Can I present to this customer? Is that okay? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, well, I need a copy of the presentation. So again, all Claire does is, right, okay, so I'm going to send you over a copy of the slide deck and I'm going to uh, stop presenting. Okay, so I'm going to take over presenting. My screen, obviously, you can have multiple screens on at the time, but I'm just doing this for, for showing you. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a file. So I'm going to drag over the presentation. I'm going to just send it to Johnny. So that's coming over to me now. And then you should see at the bottom there, share files. Fantastic. So I want to accept that as a download. It's going to come down, it's going to end up in my receive files down here. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to open that up. I'm going to present to mode. So, customer comes in and you want to make this as powerful as possible. There's a couple of other tools you can see. So, great thing about you doing this with tablet based technology on Windows 8.1 or 10 is you can pick it up. So, I want to talk about you know the Skylit processor. So, talk, going through the presentation, talking about it all. I go into the laptop piece and I go to the new slides that we added. So talking away, walking around, strutting. And I want to talk about the new PC. Okay, so at the top, one thing I've not talked about is there's a drop down menu. And this allows you to make notes on the screen and they can be persistent or non-persistent. So I want to draw on my screen. And then because there's up to four people that can be presenting to identify who's doing the drawing, I'm going to go with green. Okay, so I'm talking away and I want to talk about this brand new product, Mr. Customer. This is the new thing. No one's ever seen before. It's brilliant. It, yeah. Fantastic machine. Okay, so you can see as you've noticed, it fades out after so long. If you want to click on a PowerPoint presentation, you have to turn drawing, drawing off the screen off. Okay, so if you wanted to make the them permanent, then all you need to do is enable drawing on my screen and make notes permanent, so then you turn. So we're going to talk about that. And we're also going to talk about the new latitude bold peak, okay, Mr. Customer. And they'll stay on the screen until you move on. Unfortunately, if you flick on, they will st stay there, even if you turn off drawing on my screen. So when you flick. So to remove that, all you do is turn off persistent and it removes it off again. So there we go. So you can go through your presentation, you can wow the customer, you can do and it, you know, make notes, do whatever you want. I've just uh, dropped it out there. So, that's just a few things you can do with the collaborative collaboration side of it. So, as you can see, very easy to set up, very easy to use, very easy to create a scenario of sharing images and, and products and, and passing them about. Very easy way of interacting and sharing screens, uh, multiple screens up to four at a time, your name, who you are, the files, and um, the integration. As I mentioned, this solution, even though this is standalone, this solution will still work if you're not inside the room. So as long as you can connect to the box over the wireless, um, you can. So you could actually be in another room. So I'll just, uh, for example, bring up. So my present application is greyed out at the minute because I haven't obviously opened anything up to present. So let's do a high level overview. So I'm wanting to present this. There we go. So I'm going to go out of the room and go upstairs. So in that scenario, I could be the marketing person sat at my desk. I might need to be brought in like with the images. Obviously, sharing the image and putting it into presentation was based on someone being in the room. That person can be in a different room. You can obviously have um could also have teleconference associated with this so they could dial in and um, you know they needed to be sat at the desk there wasn't room in there's enough space in the room to do this you have a lot of people presenting to it's got full customization so the main screen which i mentioned which will come up here here this is full fully customized you know your password you can change that obviously where you download stuff account come from your, your, your share key can obviously be customized the pin is constantly rolling it's secure, 
and then there's APIs and plugins for things like Skype for Business. So you can bring other collaborative tools into this. This is a business class solution, so you know it is focused around business, not not um, consumer. And if you want any more information on the actual Unite box itself, this is a 7040 microform factor PC. This is very small, and the zero moving parts. If you get it with an SSD, this can be mounted on the wall next to the or behind the big screen. So say you've got one of the Dell 50 50 inch um, monitors or projectors or even our really nice award-winning um, 70 inch touch which is coming out shortly anything like that on the wall can connect it's got multiple hdmi ports on the back display ports everything you're ever going to need from a point of view of connectivity so if you've got any questions or want to know anything more please feel free to uh to contact me